Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to a don't starve guide and in this guide guys I'm gonna be telling you guys how to survive wool attacks So guys basically in this video I'm gonna be telling you guys some quick little tips and tricks and kind of what to go about in terms of surviving the wolf attacks um, So the very first thing you guys should probably do is one um, as soon as you get in the game of don't starve You should actually try to look for a certain defense This is usually gonna come in two forms one being beefalo and the other being uh, pigment now, guys, one thing about these defenses is you do not want to be too close to them because both of them are irritable. Uh, pigmen can become werewolves in a full moon, and beefalo go into mating season. So that's just shitty. <laughs> so you don't want to be too close, but you want to be close enough to where you can run to them. So yeah, I would suggest the pig village, um, not so much as the pig, like, little valley thing. I would suggest a village. Yeah, but guys, when you start reaching day 60 and etc., uh, the pigs start dying off, and it doesn't go as well as it normally would. And just so you guys know, when I say dying off, I don't mean they're, like, just getting sick. I mean the wolves are outnumbering them, and they're starting to uh, overwhelm them and kill them. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a death pit. So a death pit, guys, is basically a campfire surrounded with a uh, bunch of traps. Now, there's multiple ways to make a death trap. There is also a tubed variation of a death trap, which is uh, basically just, like, a same as it's exactly how it sounds. <laughs> it's a tube, which is just filled with traps with a campfire in the center of the campfire. Um, the center is because, you know, you want, uh, the wolves do attack in night sometimes, so you want to make sure you have that extra defense. And, yeah, guys. And, yeah, guys, something that works really well with dealing with wolves is a bee bomb. Or bee mine, sorry. And it's exactly what it sounds. Um, it's not that pricey to make. I think it takes six bees, um, one wood, and one flint, which is not crazy. It's a bit pricey on the bees, but, again, it shouldn't be too bad to make. So, yeah. On a side note, guys, it's probably one of the most important things when dealing with wolves. If I can give you any sort of warning, it would be, please, for the love of God, do not kill a wolf near anything flammable, unless it's white for sure, okay? Because there's things, there's a type, there's a variety of hound, damn it, I, yeah, it's hound, not wolf. I'm going to say that wolf, though, because it's just, yeah. Anyways, so there's a variety of a hound that is called a fire hound. A fire hound, guess what, explodes in a burst of fire. So when you kill it, boom. If you're in the woods, whole forest, completely gone. D for love of God, do not make your death pit near anything flammable. In fact, if you want to make your death pit, make it somewhat near the pig village, I would, or whatever your defense is, pig village or uh, beefalo, whatever one you choose. I would suggest the pigs, because I see they work better because they can dodge, and uh, yeah. If you do the beefalo, beefalo can die, and they do take a longer time to respawn, so that's just my thoughts behind that. Uh, but you do not want to build it too close, because if, it, if you do get a were pig, you don't want to have a double shit storm, so yeah. Anyways, alright guys, so let's step back here a little. When you get into day 10, um, around there basically, you'll start to have a wolf attack. You'll start to have your very first wolf attack. What you should do for that, guys, is you want to get a spear and log armor. Log armor, both are not very uh, costly, you can just look at it in your menu. You will need a science machine to make them, which is kind of crappy, but then again, science machine is not that bad. In fact, a science machine should be your kind of first priority. Um, and if you can't do that, you should, um, you'll, you'll be, uh, hearing a th tip at the end of the video, which probably will help you with that if you just don't want to do that. Uh, if you don't want to build a science machine, if you still haven't found out where you want to settle in, basically, my tip at the end will help you, uh, get rid of the wolves without having to build a base. So yeah, or a science machine. So guys, the best, um, way to deal with a wolf, in my opinion, is a death trap. Eh, now that I think about that, guys, this is after the fact, by the way. I'm not sure if a death pit is my forte, because I lasted 100 days without making one. Basically, I was set up right beside a pig village, and they just wrecked major face whenever I went... Whenever I had a problem, they just take care of it for me, so that's my situation, <laughs> yeah. So, guys, if I could lay it out for you like in, like, a plan form, it'd be to, um... This is how I did it, and I'm, I've survived for 100 days, so I'm not just a dude who's just talking shit. So, yeah. Basically, I set up my camp near a pig village. Honestly, guys, a part of me kind of wishes I would have set up camp near Beefalo because you can't always move uh, pigs, pig houses to to your base, basically, no matter what. So I kind of messed up on the choice. But anyways, so um, pigs do a tremendous job on defense, and they respawn after every day, so that's also awesome. Anyways, so if I could lay it out for you guys, like I said, it would be to basically, when you get to day 10 or day 8, um, get on the priority of building yourself log armor and a spear. You'll only run into like two or three wolves, and they won't be that hard to deal with. Second thing is, guys, when you find your base, hopefully it's by one of the two uh, beefalo or pig houses, um, you're going to want to, around day 30, you should find your base. At that point, you should have a base. At this point, guys, you're going to probably start running into like five dogs. It's just going to keep increasing. So when you get to day 60, that's when you should probably get on making a death trap. That's when you should probably have a mass consumption of teeth, and you can actually get on making that. Um, fun fact, a death trap is not that pricey at all. Um, it is kind of pricey in terms of the teeth. Not really, though. It takes one tooth. One string and I think one log. I'm not sure on that, guys, but it doesn't. You can always just check it in the menu when you're there. 
so yeah guys that's pretty much the gist of how to survive wolves in a kind of a sequence order i guess um anyways uh so guys the next thing we're gonna be talking about is something that it doesn't have to do with wolves it just has to do with survival and all-around defense now guys this is probably the most important thing in this game. It's not it's not a tip on how to make food or how to not starve. It's a tip on how to survive. Now guys, one of the most important things in this game, if I could offer you any sort of advice, it'd be this. And that is to make negatives incredible positives. Now what I mean by that, it sounds corny, but what I, what I mean by that is basically... Say if you have um, a massive uh, hornet's nest kind of thing, where you have like bees, and then you have these kind of like sentry red type B things. Basically what those things are called are um, uh, killer bee nests. Those killer bee nests are, uh, in my opinion, the strongest form of defense in the game. Mind you, when you have a lot of them. When it's only one, not really. But when you have like five and they're close together, oh yeah, that thing is super crazy. That thing could rip down deer clops in a matter of seconds. Because bees, especially killer bees, they hit so quick and there's so many of them hitting that it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's really cool. And it destroys people. So yeah, you'll get like 30 bees on one person, each of them doing f significant damage, and you'll just see their health just drop. Or well, we won't see it, you'll see them drop, because they'll be dead. Anyways, alright guys, forgot to mention this about the bees, but one of the reasons why it is also extremely good is that it lasts in winter and um, in summer. Now what I mean by that is, you guys are probably like, what, bees don't la last winter? Blah. No, but the century, uh, sorry, the killer bees, the defender bees definitely do. The defender bees, which is the ones that are hitting shit, and the ones that you want, are going to live through winter, so yeah. It works winter. Anyways, back to making positives or negatives positives. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, guys, again, that goes for a lot of things. That goes for uh, spiders. If you're getting chased by wolves, go by spiders, they'll probably get into it. If you go by, uh, what do you call them, uh, frogs, they'll beat the shit out of you, but they'll also beat the shit out of wolves, those kind of things, guys. So, again, that's my point. If you ever have, like, a spider queen and you have deer clops, Make them meet each other. Make them brutally murder each other. You know, there's all sorts of things you can do to make a really situ a really shitty situation a lot better. So, anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up how to deal with wolves. Uh, basically, death trap, um, log armor, and a spear, and and basically just basic defense in terms of beefalo and pigmen. Pigmen got me through a hundred days. So yeah, guys, if you don't even want to spend the money on uh, teeth. Uh, for the whole tooth traps, you can always just uh, set up camp right on top of, or not right on top of, but really close near uh, the pig king. So, because uh, what happens with that is each day, each time you live or survive, the uh, the pig village itself will start expanding. I'm not positive on that. And on a side note, guys, if anyone has any, if there's any sort of like don't starve veterans in there that are like crazy smart and have survived a thousand days, please for love, guy, guys, tell me the best form of defense in your guys' mind. This is all my opinion and. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. It's real quick, real clean, real easy. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do with editing. Maybe it'll just be quick and clean and showing you guys some quick ch clips. Or maybe it'll be really intense. I don't know. Haven't really done it, guys. I'm kind of stuck on time right now. Also, this is um, the day in which I'm uh, making this guide. I'm going to tell you guys it just because there might be a patch to come up. But there's currently no patch. Um, I am actually playing the game on PS4 because it's free for PS4 users, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, the day is 2014 May 5th. That's basically uh, the day. No, that is the day. Not basically. <laughs> that is the day. Yeah, I probably said basically like 40 times. It's a problem with me. I yeah. Anyways, so yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, yeah, I made another version. It was really long. I'm not gonna show it to you guys. I'm gonna upload this instead because it's quicker and cleaner. All right, guys. So hopefully I could help. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much wraps things up. Um, so yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed as always. And later, guys. Bye. Eyes in the sky. Gazing far into the night I raise my hand to the fire But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light